how to make the most of a large empty space. Hey guys, Heat of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be transforming this large empty space and specifically separating it into two to give it two functional spaces. One side can be for lounging or relaxing and then the other side can be for dining. So I'm going to separate it now with a tape. This was my first option to go with wood and other smaller strips of wood to make my partition. But then I changed my mind and used something much different at the end of the day. But this is how I actually wanted to go, but it was going to cost me more money and take more time. So I'm going to be using PVC lattice and a plastic sheet with cubes. They're just laying around doing nothing. So the cubes are going to be holding the lattices and the plastic sheet for the partition. I'll be attaching this to the cube on this side and then securing it with screws. Because I want the partition to be higher, I'm going to be adding more cubes on two sides and an extra PVC lattice. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'll be using this long piece of wood to hold the upper side of the lattices across from the top and by the sides as well to secure it firmly to the cubes. I'll be using mirrors to decorate one side of the partition and I got these mirrors from Lowe's and I had them cut by someone who was so nice. Her name is Crystal and I want to take this moment to give a big shout out to Crystal for helping me out with these cuts. I'll be attaching them at random with a strong adhesive to the lattices. I started with my bare hands, but then please wear gloves because it's much more safer to hold mirrors while you work with gloves in your hands. I'm going to glue a lot of mirrors until I have most of it covered. I'm going to use a foam board and cover it with contact paper to decorate the sides. After using this pattern, I didn't really like it. So I decided to just cover it up with black marble contact paper instead. I used black marble contact paper for the sides at the back as well. 
Now this is the transparent plastic sheet that I'm going to be using to cover the back. And I'm using this because it's transparent and I want light to pass through during the day. I used two plastic sheets and I attached one at the top and attached the other one at the bottom. In, in the middle, where they meet, I covered it up with strips that I cut from a foam board that I had covered with black contact paper. Now I'm going to be decorating both sides of the partition. You might wonder why I used plastic instead of wood to make it easy, right? But then I prefer the plastic because it's going to allow light to come through it in the day. The lamps that I used in the front, I passed the cables through the back of the lattices to make it neat in front. Now we have two functional spaces that are beautiful on both sides as well. You can play around with different settings and it will look so cute at that corner. This whole setting looks cute even when the lights are off. This used to be a large, boring empty space and now it's got two functional spaces that is so cute and pretty. I do hope you all enjoyed this video and learned one or two things from it. Now don't forget to like it and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.